is a new day. Oni ojo tutuni. We came him yesterday night. Awa sibini ale ano. But today is a glorious morning. Shukmoni awuro yi awuro ojo tutuni. My prayer for all of us is this. Adura me fun gogo wa ni pe. You will not remain on the spot. Ah, you do logic or no? Ojo de ojo. Day after day. Lord, I feel good, eh? God is showing forth his glory. Your life will not remain on a spot. Amen. You will advance beyond where you are. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Tonight, I want you to believe that God will give you strength to pray. I know you have been praying. I know you have been praying. But I want you to believe that it will give you more strength and much more strength to pray. For the Bible says that go, those that go to Zion, they move from strength to strength. And those in Zion, they will always have testimony because the Bible says, this and this I be said that it is born in Zion. As you have come to Zion today, you say have testimony. Amen. This sitting, this meeting, I turn to be testimony for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will have testimony for yourself. Amen. You will have testimony for your loved ones. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Join me as we check the word of God. Let's consider Mark chapter 9 verse 23. And we are also going to check Matthew 21 21. Mark 9 23. Mark 9 23. If you are there, say yes, sir. Now we are still waiting for some people. Mark 9 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou can believe, all things are possible to him that believe. I move to Matthew 21, 21. Matthew 21, 21. Matthew 21, 21. Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If you have faith and doubt not, you shall not only do this which is done to this fig tree, but also if you shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and it shall be done. Our Father, we ask that you will release your word in the name of Jesus. Amen. And that as you release today, your word will be equally distributed to each one of us in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will grant unto me utterance that your word might find your people in the name of Jesus. I pray that it will not just come with eloquence or speech, but it will come with demonstration of power. To break every yoke of limitation in the name of Jesus. Thank you because you have answered us. In Jesus' name we have prayed. On Sunday when we started, we are... We are trying to look at provisions of God to overcome limitations. We started with anointing. On Monday, we moved to Grace. And Tuesday, we moved to the word of God. Thank you, Today, 
we want to look at the power of faith to overcome limitations. Hello? Church, are you here? Joshua what are we considering today? The power of God. I can hear you. Faith. On Sunday, we considered what? Anointing. If I'm your roro yon, your joys in me. Emma Soro. If I'm your roro yon, like me, when your joys in me. Dear, dear, my walani, dear, dear, ni. Back by our Lord, my sin, ni. On Sunday, we talk about what? Anointing. On Monday. Oro of fair. On Tuesday. Oro. Today. Somebody say faith. Igbagbo. Don't sleep. Oh. Say faith. <laughs> I can't hear you. Say faith. <laughs> Shout. Say faith. <laughs> what is faith? <laughs> In the two verses of the scripture that we have read. Mark 9.23 and Matthew 21.21 They all show to us that faith has answer to all questions of life. I repeat what I've just said. Because in Mark 9.23, if you fix your eyes on that verse, he said, if you believe, all things are possible. It shows that questions of life, faith has answer to it. So your question, faith has answer to it. In other words, we can say that faith has solution to the problem of your life. Only Ojutu, see what I last in Beninua Yere. Faith is not just a biblical doctrine that we study. Igbagbo, Kishi or Zoko, and in Ubibeli, Tian Shia, be a warren. It's not a story. Kishi, it's not a biblical principle. Kokisha, be the case you are it's a doctrine. No, it's a biblical principle. But let me show you something that is very important. Because that is where I'm going to start tonight. Every spirit of unbelief tonight. By the power of the Lord. I cast them out from your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Faith is very important. It's not just a mere doctrine of biblical principle. But it is a platform to draw God's power. Hello? Hi. Anytime that you activate faith or you bring faith to life virtues of God draws to you are we together virtues of God draws to you to perform for you to understand what I'm saying Please speak your Bible quickly. I need to lay this foundation. Let's check Mark chapter 5. It's the story that you know. Mark chapter 5. Let's check verse 28. I'm okay. Mark 5. For she said... If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. 
Please get to verse 30. And straight away, the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body as she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately, in himself, in himself, that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? This is the story of a woman with the history of blood. If I may but touch this woman put faith to life. And the moment she put faith to life, virtue of God draws to her to perform. Jesus himself said that who touched me in verse 30 the Bible says immediately knowing himself that virtue had gone out of him turned him in the press and said who touched my clothes it was an act of faith and I want to pray for you tonight in that question in your mind in that particular challenge that you have as you exercise faith as you put faith to action power of God will draw to you Amen. and there shall be performance Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. faith honors God and God honors faith. Are we together? What did I say? I can hear you. God honors faith. And God honors In Hebrew chapter 11, verse 6, the Bible says, It is impossible to do what? To please God with our faith. Whenever faith is exercised, God is happy. God is honor. And God will honor that faith that is exercised. And that is what happened with the woman with the issue of blood. The moment that woman exercised faith, God honors her faith. Power draws out to perform tonight. Everything that is weakening your faith, we bow in the name of Jesus. I want you to be on your feet. That woman said, If I may just touch, if I may just touch, as she acted. Power draws out. Power came out. Because God honors faith. May the Lord honor your faith today in the name of Jesus. Every experience of your life that is weakening your faith will be subjected to the name of Jesus. I want your two hands up and say, My father, my father, every force, every power that is weakening my faith, I subdue them tonight. Please look at me. Before you pray, in the story in Mark chapter 5, what happened to that woman is what we want to pray about. You know, people were thrown around Jesus. They didn't want to allow the woman. Forces of people around Jesus. He was suppressing her. Won't tell her But her faith was so active that it was difficult to be suppressed. She falls out in her spirit. I'm unable to reach this man. I just need to touch the. I want your two hands up. Every force, every power 
power that is suppressing my faith. I subdue in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. You are not praying at all. You don't understand what you are saying tonight. And my prayer for every one of you is this. Power that is weakening your faith. Power that is saying that it will not be possible. Power that is saying that you will not exceed the borderline that you have drawn. They will be subdued today in the name of Jesus. Amen. He said, if you can believe. All things, all things, all things, they are possible. You are going to pray again. You will exercise your authority as a child of God. Thank you for the testimony of Reverend Adeyemo. It's a testimony inviting us to salvation. If you have been saved, if you have been saved, please exercise your authority. Tonight, miracle will feed this temple in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you will be the first to testify. Amen. I say you will be the first to testify. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You say every force that is suppressing my faith that is crippling my faith I subdue you be subdued in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name, we are prayed. I want us to form a group of seven. Seven. You see, this prayer we are praying is very important. Very, very important. You know the story of these four men who assisted their friend when Jesus was teaching and there was no space and no passage for them to actually drop this man in front of Jesus and they struggle and they managed to look at the roof and remove the ties of the roof and let the man down faith is always challenged it's always challenged but tonight whatever is standing between you and your faith to be active because the moment your faith is activated power of God will be released to perform and that is why faith most of the time is face to face with challenge so power that want to suppress your faith tonight they must subdue do you know the reason why the bible says if two of you shall agree as touching anything so we want to agree tonight power that has been suppressing our faith we want to subdue them and they will be subdued in the name of Jesus let's start to pray in the name of Jesus power that is of the house we agree together that in the name of Jesus we subdue you we subdue you power that is have been crippling our faith we stand in the name of the Lord and we subdue in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we are praying in Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. You know, for them to risk their lives to let the man down in front of Jesus, to climb the roof, is a risk. 
And it is was because the faith they had in Jesus that their friend will be ill and deliver was challenged. There are a lot of influences around us that are pushing challenge to our faith. It's not as if we don't have faith. Each time we want to exercise it, it will come like a fall wall that will stand against us. But you see, a child of God, <laughs> we have authority to subdue. We have authority to subdue everything that wants to cripple our faith. At times you want to receive healing for your daughter, for your son, for your loved one. That thing will be saying, boy, are you cool? Faith can be threatened. And that is what happened to Peter. This prayer we are praying is very important. Because every child of God moves in the atmosphere of miracle. You move in the atmosphere of miracle. You only need to activate faith to enjoy that miracle. Peter said, this one is a ghost. And Jesus said, no, it is me. Yes, so okay, if you, you are the one, tell me to come. And Jesus said, come. Yes, so and Peter was stepping on water as if it is on the ground. The, the moment, moment he looked around, around, his face was threatened. Then the miracle to stand on water ceased. It's not as if you should not receive. It's not as if you can't receive what you are expecting God to do. It's not as if you cannot cross over. Or to exceed that limit. But your faith is being threatened, being crippled. You need to be liberated and subdue whatever is crippling your faith. So we want to help ourselves to agree together in prayer now. Say, Our Father and our God, every force that is standing to cripple our faith, we are today. And we silence them. We paralyze them. Pray us in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying in the name of Jesus? Power that is standing to cripple our faith. Power that is standing to threaten our faith. In the face of miracle, we silence them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, we are prayed. We reduce to six now. We reduce to six. We turn to six. So someone will be eliminated. <laughs> and, for, and join. Are we together? Are we together? Are we together? It's the same prayer. Moses. Moses. When he led his people to the bank of the Red Sea. This was the man. That God said to. I will make you to be God before Pharaoh. He spoke with the power of God for Pharaoh to release them. But when he got to the bank of the Red Sea, Red Sea, something happened. The faith that carried Moses to the bank of the Red Sea was threatened.